I know, I know, I'm slowly turning into a music channel. It's just a phase, mom. Next time I'll talk about learning French or something, I don't know. Mais non, si tu parles de ton apprentissage de français, tu vas juste parler de l'artiste pomme et son album Les Feuilles. Ta gueule! I just want to say I'm sorry in advance to anyone who likes the literal one song that I give less than a 5 out of 10 to. Actually, you know what? I have the official disclaimer here. <clears throat> Opinions. Okay, let's start. Worst to best. First song, make of it. 3 out of 10. I'm going to keep the rating on screen for each song because I realized I didn't do that for the 21 Pilots video and that was probably, um, annoying. Make of it was a particularly disappointing experience for me because they had released a teaser for the track where Josh was singing in that ornate, resonant room at that place that I forget the name of. Uh, Fusure Me, editing this video. Put the name of the place on the screen, please. What the frick? The teaser was stunning. Josh's singing was beautiful, the acoustic guitar was fantastic, the reverb transported my soul to Mars, and the line he was singing, I want this love like everyone else, I don't know how to describe it. It's like ever since the band released Still Feel, they've been writing these grounded, meaningful, and comforting lyrics that capture the feeling of, of needing emotional security. However, the actual release track is incredibly annoying. Not the lyrics, the sound, the melody, the over-the-top yet somehow incredibly unemotional retake of the line, I want this love like everyone else. I was tempted to give this song an even lower score to be honest, but to be fair, I am able to pick out some elements that I do enjoy, like the second half of the chorus, not the post-chorus, not the make of it, make of it, that is the worst part. The therapy saw me naked, 26 years I've waited, those four lines. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this video to around like 10 to 15 minutes long, so I guess we better speed run these next tracks. Awaken Night, The Fall, Tiptoes. I feel close to nothing when listening to these songs, but thankfully, the 3 EP marks both the beginning and the end of the 5 out of 10 section. I am definitely being too hard on these tracks, like they're not bad, but I find them a little, um, boring, a little derivative, and a little teenage emo edgy. They have their moments. The line, God, are you awake at night? In, well, awake at night. That hits hard. The chorus of the fall is the catchiest of the bunch, and the pure energy of tiptoes in combination with the videos I've seen of them playing it live is enough to get me at least a little excited, you know. But at the same time, it's obvious that uh, things like Josh's singing has improved. It's like waking up in surgery. The fall is actually how I first learned about the band. It was 2017, the year of 21 Pilots hiatus, and I was looking for some music to fill the void while they were gone. So I ended up watching The Falls music video, but then I was like, wait, yeah, these are fine songs, but I often forget they exist. On to editing fish here, again, uh, I realized I had forgotten to add a song to my ranking. Intro from their 7 EP album thing, uh, strong 5 to a light 6. I'm never coming back to it, but it was pretty. On to songs that I actually enjoy and can see myself coming back to, at least when I'm in the right mood. The 6 out of 10 section starts with Everything Machine. This is a fun song with a catchy chorus. The biggest thing holding it back is the vocal effect on the I'll Be Your Everything post chorus. In general, the song is slightly overproduced, there's like a, a bit crusher or something on his vocal most of the time. But the bridge is really the only part of the song where I feel like the effect actually adds something. Summerland is teetering on the edge of a 6 and a 7. I honestly love its soundscape of warm synths. It's a fantastic song to add to your summer playlist, like the vibes are undeniable. But the song drags. The repetition of lines in the chorus doesn't help. By the time the chorus comes back around for the final time, I'm on the verge of being checked out. Speaking of coming back around... Back Around suffers from even greater overproduction than Everything Machine in some respects. The chorus instrumental is more oppressive than powerful. I wish it didn't sound so compressed and bombastic, but I do love what they were going for conceptually. I love the theme and the lyrics, especially during the bridge when everything cuts out except for the vocals and piano. 
the lines, I know that you love me, but I don't think you can help me. Let me walk in circles, I'll be back around. That, that hits. I was tempted to give this song a strong 6, but I think I'll be nice and give it a light 7. And now, we reach the first song on the list from their debut album. Trust, along with most songs from Now Not Yet, thankfully don't suffer from overproduction. If anything, there's a risk of underproduction because I think this track lacks some of the, of the bite that it needs at the end. Too little is probably better than too much though, and I love the message of the lyrics. Okay, yeah, okay, you're gonna hear me say that a lot from now on, okay? Have a live write some great stuff. Yo, what up, editing fish again, here to bring you a half a live writes good lyrics jar. Each time I say I like the lyrics or a theme of a song, I will add $2.50 to the jar. And at the end of this video, I will donate the final amount to myself, because I desperately need the cash. I thought that Pure Gold was going to be my least favorite from this album, and to be honest, it's still a toss-up but the absolute playfulness of the piano and the it really gets to me and I can't stop smiling. I am getting a cramp in my face. But like Trust, this song doesn't exactly change enough by the end for me to call it great. Whoever decided on the metaphor of hot tea deserves an award because now whenever I make a cup of tea, I can't stop thinking of this song. I wanted to place this song even higher on the list, but the incredibly rough transition between the verses and the trap hi-hats of the chorus makes it land at a, a solid 7. But this song nails the feeling of yearning to love and be loved. It's a love song that doesn't even mention the word love. It focuses on communicating the feelings of comfort and support that love brings. And I love it. I think we're on, what, Move Me Creator Series number 257, so that might be affecting my opinion on this slightly, but I still like the song. The singing is beautiful, and the piano and drums have an incredibly satisfying rhythm. Uh, but the bridge falls short for me. I think the mixing of the guitar sounds a bit too thin, uh, and in general the song is a bit repetitive, but still has beautiful moments. Arrow is just a solid song. If you looked up the word solid in a dictionary, there'd be two pictures, one of this and one of a rock. It doesn't do anything particularly special, it doesn't hit quite as hard as the other songs, but the synths are great, the bridge, mm. The lyrical themes about the pressures of life, change in planning, coming of age, all that is quite good. I was in the middle of college when this album was released, so I was able to resonate with pretty much all of the album's messages, um, and the simple sound of the album was able to back up those messages quite effectively. Runaway and then Breakfast Orchestra Editions demonstrate the biggest weaknesses of really all of the orchestral tracks. They never sound quite as full as they should. They're a little lackluster. Individually, they also have some unique problems like the awkward change in rhythm and pacing in Runaway and the incredibly drawn out and less impactful instrumental of Breakfast. Uh, I still like the bass songs and the orchestra palette sounds incredibly nice which is why they're at this position in the list, but I don't know. That might change. Oh yeah, I should probably mention that my opinions, like the opinions of other humans, aren't always stable. They're like a house built on moving sands, or the teeth in the gums of your mouth. You know what? Forget that last one. I probably didn't, I didn't need to put that. I shouldn't have said the eight out of tens, baby. Hey, guess what? The lyrics and themes of OK OK are pretty cool. Who would have thought? Wow, that's amazing. I didn't see that coming at all. Also, the sparingly used rock guitar is pretty neato. But yeah, to be honest, this is pretty much ASMR the song. Ice Cold has an excellent feature from Kimbra. The vocal layering is fantastic, and it knocks me off my feet when it goes ethereal around 120 and also at the end of the song. Some lines are overly simplistic, both in their writing and in their delivery, but have I ever told you about the themes in Half Alive songs? Maybe is maybe my most replayed track of the album. It's like the most succinct, simple, kind of standard, yet incredibly strong song from the track list. Maybe it's not over, changing is found in motion. Okay, yeah, you caught me. I was just trying to vary the ways that I say I like the lyrics. What's wrong is a bop, and my biggest flaw is that they say Yivi Kaye, but they say it with such enthusiasm that it's whatever, it's a bop. Okay, so I know this technically isn't a song, it's a transition track, but it's so well done and so fitting on the album that I wanted to include it here. 
The switch from the synth on Maybe that sounds like a phone ringing to the sound effect of picking up a phone, followed by an actual voice message that they decided to fit with what they wanted to put on the album, it's, it's perfection. The actual content of the message is thoughtful and satisfying. Then the length of the pause at the end of the track is so perfectly timed that it flows seamlessly into Still Feel. The only reason that I'm not rating this higher is because it's not a song, and I'd rather keep the songs that are further up on this list. I've talked about the song Rest before on the channel, so if you want to know more about how much I like this song, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, in short, this song made me realize the importance of taking a break, of avoiding burnout. Uh, this song helped me survive college. Good stuff. Time to does so much right that I am experiencing emotional pain by not putting it any higher on the list. The effects are a bit overdone. That's really the only complaint I have. I would have preferred slightly less overbearing effects at certain points, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't absolutely hyped by the end of this track. The message that having fun and getting lost in the moment isn't a bad thing, the pressure of the verses followed by the levity of the chorus, the excitement building in the bridge, top notch. The orchestral arrangements of Creature and Still Feel I find better than the previous two orchestral songs, but I'd still rather listen to the originals. The instrumentals simply aren't as captivating as the ones with synthetic instruments. Uh, wow. wow, I was really about to say synthetic instruments instead of just synths, so kind of pretentious. I'm addicted to the opening drums of this song. Anyway, the first 9 out of 10 would like to introduce itself, Runaway. I know I keep hammering in the fact that I love the themes behind Half Alive's songs, but this seriously is no exception. Their songs are just so comforting. I find that everything I am is everything I should be. I don't need to run away. What solace for those who are feeling a little behind in life. Still Feel is their hit single for a reason. I remember after not being overly impressed with The Fall and Friends, I had returned to my ways of binge watching YouTube videos when all of a sudden Still Feel appears in my recommended. It was just uploaded and I didn't watch it. In my head at the time, they were decent 21 Pilots copycats, but nothing made them stand out as a band that I want to come back to. YouTube proceeded to recommend me Still Feel every day for a week. My will was strong, but not that strong. I watched it. I listened. And all of a sudden, I had viewed it 20 times. It's a fantastic song, a giant leap in songwriting expertise from their previous tracks from the 3 EP and I appreciate it even more for starting a whole era of Half-Alive music that I immensely enjoy. The 10 out of 10 section. There are two songs here, each of which provide not only interesting sounds, creative lyrics, and amazing themes, but they give me even more of an emotional connection than really their other songs, which is quite the feat. <laughs> Breakfast is the perfect song to listen to while lying in bed staring at the ceiling. Emotional vulnerability seeps from every line of this song because, well, that's, what's, that's what it's about. Uh, it's about taking the risk of opening up to someone, about having a, a safe place to lay your heart down. Nothing I say will do the song justice, will communicate how important this song is. Uh, the only other point I want to make is that I love the callback to pure gold. I think leitmotifs are incredibly underutilized in pop albums, which I think is better than being overused. <laughs> but the reappearing melody perfectly fits this track. And finally, the one you've all been skipping to the end of the video for. My favorite Half-Alive song is... Creature. I really don't know what to say about it besides the fact that I think it's the best pop worship song ever written. I dislike or am aggressively indifferent to 90% of Christian pop music, but Creature is actually creative in its structure and content and its production is the best of any Half-Alive song, thanks to the wondrous Palmini. Uh, this song also has a little callback, not quite a leitmotif, this time to the Notion Transition track. A similar voiceover bookends this song and this album, flawlessly wrapping together the entire project. I love it. And that is every Half-Alive song ranked. Until part two of Give Me Your Shoulders comes out sometime in the undetermined future. They are a wonderful band. Ever since Still Feel, they've been putting out incredibly comforting songs, which I, I think that's exactly the same sentence that I said at the beginning. Um, but I seriously can't emphasize that enough. That is always the word that I come back to. That and the word encouraging. 
because they so often take concepts that deal with insecurity and uncertainty and address them from an optimistic perspective. Not simply saying, oh, I feel like I'm falling behind on life, but rather complementing that idea with, I don't need to compare myself to others. I'm exactly where I should be. I don't need to run away. Make of It is the only song of theirs that I, that I legitimately dislike. If you like it, I'm honestly jealous because, as I've mentioned, the message is really cool. But all their other songs I'm either fine with or legitimately enjoy. If this is your first time hearing about Half Alive, which I sincerely doubt because only people that listen to Half Alive are going to watch this video, uh, but if you haven't heard much from them, I'd advise giving the band a try. But thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay hydrated, limit your time in social media, hang out with friends, read Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, get eight hours of sleep, like, share, subscribe, and have a good day.